Robin Hood's descent has been as dramatic as its rise. The online digital brokerage's shares are down 90% since their peak last year. But how did a company that launched to such fanfare fall so hard? The simple answer is that as the markets have weakened, Robinhood's customers, who are mainly young folks trading stocks, options and cryptocurrencies, have lost interest or moved their money elsewhere. Since Robinhood's shares peaked in August 2021, the S&P 500 is down around 10% and Bitcoin has halved. Robinhood's own revenue has also halved since the quarter when it went public. What Robinhood still does have, though, is a whole lot of users. It's got 22.8 million recently transacted accounts, and that represents a huge group of people who could potentially be buying other kinds of financial services products, like credit cards, crypto wallets, and savings products. That potentially makes Robinhood an interesting acquisition idea for, say, a Goldman Sachs or a JP Morgan Chase, both of whom, as it happens, also advised Robinhood on going public in 2021. Sam Bankman-Fried, who founded crypto exchange F FTX. He also owns around 8% of Robinhood's shares, although FTX has said that it's not actively involved in merger talks. Would Robinhood's founders even want to sell if a deal came along? Well, that's an important question because Vlad Tenev and his colleague Baiju Bat collectively have more than 60% of the company's shares. What they also have, though, are big bonus packages linked to Robinhood's share price. So at these low levels, it's not looking good for their prospective payouts. All of which means if there were ever a good time for a would-be acquirer to sling an arrow in Robinhood's direction, it's probably now. <laughs>